give me a little yeah. bit of advice. You know, say a PGA member who maybe doesn't feel like they're, you know, maybe they don't feel like they're smart enough to talk about it or they're educated on the issues or whatever it might be. That first five minutes, if I get an opportunity with an LA, an LD, or the member themselves, what is something they can do to kind of bridge that gap and let them know I'm not a paid lobbyist. I'm just a person who's trying to make a living. And so what would, what would they say? How, how do I bring that guard down? If I know they don't play golf or whatever, but I want them to understand that golf is the engine for good. Right. Yeah. So what should they say no, the first time they meet somebody who maybe isn't on that fence, you know, or on the right side of the fence? Yeah. It's about making that connection. It's about building relationships and nothing in Washington moves quickly. And so you got a lot of time to be able to do that. And you don't have to know the issues. You can leave that discussion. You can leave the binder with the LD or the LA to, to dive into it deeper from a policy standpoint. But for me, it is about meeting my constituents and getting a sense of what their concerns are uh, from a very high level, because I, I will not get down into the weeds. I'll allow my legislative staff, we have a large team, to dive into it, into those sorts of issues. And at the end of the day, I'll have the final say once we get briefed on everything from all sides. But it's really about telling your story more than anything. And stories are very, very powerful. How you got to where you are, why you support the game of golf, what impact it's had on your life or your family or or, or your state or your community. As a business person, not as a golfer, but you're, Don, you're a small businessman, right? You're a business owner. Yeah. You, you create jobs, you generate revenue for the state of Arizona in a, in, a, in a business way. And so you're just telling your story and sharing those experiences with members of Congress because you've got guys and gals up there who've never worked a, a, on a business, never owned one, never signed the front of a paycheck. They may not know what that's like. And just making that connection and sharing your story can be a very powerful way to, to impress upon a member of Congress that this issue, guess what? It's important for us. And this is why. That's great. Good stuff. 